All right, so let's start. ठीक है सो वील बी डूइंग नवंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री पेपर देर आर थ्री क्वेश्चन टू क्वेश्चन थ्री क्वेश्चन पहले वाले से ही स्टार्ट करते हैं हम लोग तो पहला क्वेश्चन क्या बोल रहे हैं देखो इफ यू ऑल हैव एनी डाउट इन बिटवीन जस्ट लेट मी नो के जस्ट द सेकेंड ठीक है। सेट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन इंडेक्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जैन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टू डिसंबर ट्वेंटी थर्टी एट इज गिवन इन द डेटा शीट ऑफ द टेम्पलेट कैलकुलेट द एनुअल इफेक्टिव सब इतना लेट से क्यों ज्वाइन करते हैं ठीक है एम आई ऑडिबल हाँ ऑल राइट तो कैलकुलेट एनुअल तो हम लोग को क्या गिवन है एक बार देख लो हम लोग को ये गिवन है आई होप माई स्क्रीन इज विजिबल टू यूर हम लोग को डिफरेंट मंथ्स का डिफरेंट इंडेक्स का वैल्यू गिवन है दे आर आस्किंग अस टू कैलकुलेट द एनुअल इफेक्टिव इन्फ्लेशन रेट अगेन सम वन वॉन्ट्स टू ज्वाइन ओवर द प्रीवियस ट्वेल्व months for each month starting from january 23 with index data provided theek hai to ye hum log ko every month ka data given hai just give me a second ha bolo ye recent paper hai november 23 खुशी ओके आई एल डू दैट संगीता डोंट वरी माय एक्चुअली पीसी इज आई डोंट नो व्हाई बिज बट गेटिंग वेरी स्लो सो जस्ट गिव मी अ सेकंड This entire thing is stuck now. Yeah. ठीक है, so it will just maybe take a few seconds. Now we need to calculate the annual effective inflation rate over the previous twelve months for each month starting from January twenty three. So obviously it's not possible for January twenty two. Why? Because we do not have the previous twelve months. So the date, uh, the month from which we have the previous twelve months is January twenty three. That is why they have mentioned this over here. So quickly tell me how to solve this. They have created another sheet over here. Where then I'll have to start working. So yeah, tell me. Let's do one thing. Let's. I don't know why guys are joining very late. I will not allow anyone to join right now. So I'll just take the data from the previous sheet like this. and then uh, one shortcut which i use this is cell 208 so i can just go to maybe b 208 and theek hai now obviously this needs to be you could have just copy pasted also any which way just convert this into a date short date or i can just copy paste this format itself
ठीक है और यू कुड हैव क्रिएटेड अ कॉपी ऑफ दैट शीट मूव एंड कॉपी यू कुड हैव जस्ट सिंपली क्रिएटेड अ कॉपी ऑफ दैट शीट नाउ व्हाट वी विल हैव टू डू दिस वी डोंट नीड वी जस्ट हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एनुअल इन्फ्लेशन राइट सो क्विकली टाइप इन एनुअल Inflation. How do we calculate starting from January twenty three? Quickly tell me. How do you calculate? Just give me a second. It's very slow. गाइज इफ देर इज अ क्लास यू नीड टू ज्वाइन ऑन टाइम यू कैन नॉट ज्वाइन आफ्टर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स तुम सिक्सटीन कर दो इसको प्लीज स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग आई टेक जस्ट टू मिनट्स बिकॉज माई पी सी इज वेरी स्लो and there are like students joining right now just give me some time ठीक है सो लेट स्टार्ट अगेन 
सो दिस वील हैव टू कैलकुलेट फ्रॉम दिस मंथ विच इज वेरी सिंपल दिस डिवाइडेड बाई सो इट्स अ ट्वेल्व मंथली सो यू नीड टू टेक अ ट्वेल्व मंथ गैप राइट सो दिस डिवाइडेड बाई यू विल टेक जनवरी ट्वेंटी टू एंड देन सिंस वॉट यू विल गेट इज वन प्लस आई वेन यू डू दिस आई जस्ट वॉन्ट द आई विच इज द इन्फ्लेशन रेट सो आई डू माइनस वन टू गेट द इन्फ्लेशन रेट येस टेल मी क्विकली अनम्यूट एंड आस्क योर डाउट्स चेंज इट इन टू परसेंटेज इंक्रीज अ फ्यू डेसिमल्स एंड जस्ट ड्रैक डाउन क्लियर वेरी सिंपल एनी डाउट इन दिस ठीक है वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट वी हैव एन इन्वेस्टर परचेज आई एन आर टेन मिलियन नॉमिनल ऑफ अ न्यूली इशूड फिफ्टीन ईयर इंडेक्स लिंक सिक्योरिटी ऑन फिफ्टींथ जनवरी ट्वेंटी थ्री एट अ प्राइस ऑफ हंड्रेड सो ऑन समवन हु बॉट ऑन फिफ्टींथ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एट हंड्रेड रुपीज दे बॉट अ फिफ्टीन ईयर इंडेक्स लिंक बॉन्ड द सिक्योरिटी पेड coupons half yearly in arrears nominal is 1.5 per annum so this is the per annum rate and was redeemed at par the coupons and the redemption payment of the security were indexed in line with the inflation index values allowing for a 3 month lag so this is something that we have done in class as well uh, there is a 3 month lag so whenever we are getting the money we consider the lag into account um calculate the following assuming the investor held the security until redemption the annual effective money yield the annual effective real yield assume that all the months are equal of 30 days so when you calculate the money yield you consider the lag into account and when you consider the real yield that is when you actually real yield is generally calculated at the end of the 15 year so at that time we not consider any kind of lag right so i'll move to sheet 2 over here and what we can do is we can quickly create um so now this is something what you can do is we can take a few things into account like over here i can take again this entire thing um but what i'll be needing is a 3 month lag as well so this is something that we have done i'll copy paste the months see okay, i have copy pasted the months and then we can also take a lag so that for the calculation it gets easier so i will say month plus 3 months so this is basically what i am doing is i am taking a 3 month lag over here meaning uh, january 22 when you are taking january 22 the month after if you take a 3 month lag it basically means april April twenty um, two, right? So what I will do, I will just add. So when you just add three, what you are actually doing, you are adding three days. So instead, it's better. I'll just go and select this April twenty two, three months gap, and th then just drag this down towards the end. We will see. Obviously, these are giving me. zero uh, values because it's taken the last three so i don't need this in fact because i just need 15 i'll just remove these theek hai and then for the inflation index you can again take it from the sheet that we have calculated so i can just write index value now in this index value i will take this index value and drag theek hai why i have done this is for my further calculation so that it gets easier if you want you can take certain more inputs like you can take this 10 uh, million nominal uh, is taken 15 years coupon payment so you all can also add these things if you want so if you want you can have nominal amount as it's 1 million so 10 millions so 1 crore 1 1 2 3 1 2 3 7 zeros and you have the coupon percent which is 
1.5 per annum and then if you want you can also consider the redemption so redemption is 100% okay now so you have taken this into account now let's quickly make the table now we'll have to work in half years since the payments are made in half years so uh, when you start typing you can write you can write time in years and you will start from zero ठीक है सिंस द फर्स्ट आउट गो विल हैपन एट जीरो जस्ट ड्रैग एंड दिस विल गो अप टिल फिफ्टीन दिस विल गो अप टिल फिफ्टीन बिकॉज एर आर फिफ्टीन इयर्स नाउ वी कैन ऑल्सो कंसिडर द मंथ्स वेन दीज ट्रांजेक्शन आर टेकिंग प्लेस सो दे आर परचेजिंग ऑन जनवरी ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके सो 15th january in the middle of the month so what i will do i will take month jan 23 theek hai after 6 months what will be this uh, what, how will we just taking this so you can just maybe write this as you can just maybe write this as july uh, that is after 6 months so july 23 again it becomes jan 24 july 24 so i'll just again select and drag all right it's being redeemed on jan 38 clear now we'll take the index value now this index value will be with lag can you all tell me why because when you calculate the money money so what happens is when you take lag into consideration is basically when i am selling a index linked bond for example i am the government i am selling the index linked bond now what happens at time zero i'll not be knowing the exact inflation after 6 months right now since i need to make a such a huge payment to so many people i will have to keep certain reserve with me and that will depend on the inflation rate so what i will do is that uh, i will am maintaining a gap of 3 months meaning if any payment needs to be done on july 23 i will be considering the inflation of 3 months earlier right and then accordingly i will be paying the so uh, for july we have uh, let's suppose it will be um, so if it's july 23 see if it's july 23 then i will be considering april 23 into account any payment will be which is made on any payment which is made on july 23 i will be considering the index of april 23 and at april 23 when i am standing at april 23 i will be knowing what the current index value is and i will be accordingly maintaining my reserve to pay out theek hai and that is how it needs to be done so that is why just added plus 3 we will be needing these values for january 23 i'll take october 22 for july 23 i'll be taking april 23 index which is this so it gets easier uh you could have done you could have, what you could have also done is that you could have used we look up that is what we'll be doing over here but creating this column makes it easier to locate so for here if i want uh, jan 23 so i'll be looking over here jan 23 which is this jan um, 23 for jan 23 i'll be using a 3 months before index which is of october 22 so this this is of october 22 that is how we have taken right jan 22 see this is the index value so that is how you have taken it over here now to extract index value we can simply use v lookup so in v lookup the lookup value is this comma uh, table array you can select this entire table and make it absolute and then uh, it will be looking from this column because jan 23 uh no i actually had to not select the first column i'll just select this so this is the table theek hai this is the table it will be looking jan 23 which is this and extracting this value this value belongs to march 23 uh july 23 
it will be looking for july 23 extracting 181 which belongs to april 23 i hope all of you are getting this because this is something we have also done in class so i'll write column index 2 and obviously give a false false and then just drag okay so these are the index values just match for july 23 it is 170 uh sorry for july 23 it's for july 23 it's 181 for July 23, it's 181. Okay? Yes. Ma'am, I'm Shashwat. My autofill handle is copying 0. Point. Same is occurring. No, nee, so uh, I mean you need to select these two cells and then you need to drag Sh uh, Shashwat. Maybe you are just dragging this cell you need to select these two and then drag you need to select these two and then drag there is no problem then you select four or five numbers and then drag you are not doing it correctly there is no setting change that needs to be done for autofill okay and then uh, once you have inflation once you have taken this into account now you can quickly uh, calculate the inflation adjustment factor if you want or you can directly do that while calculating the um, money payment. So money payment. How do we calculate the money payment? So money payment starts at 0.5 and money payment is how much? Nominal make this absolute multiplied by 1.5% make this absolute divided by 2 because we are considering half yearly and then after this you consider the uh, adjustment you adjust for the inflation right so 181 divided by this and you can make this as absolute you can make this as absolute so that when you drag this remains constant okay just do that and just you all can drag this is the and uh, this is the answer. If you want, you can convert this value into INR. Okay. And you drag. Yes, Kushi. I'm listening. पता है मुझे आपको डॉलर साइंस यूज करना है कोई शॉर्टकट नहीं है आपको डॉलर साइंस यू विल हैव टू यूज डॉलर साइंस फॉर आईआई एग्जाम सो यू विल हैव टू मैन्युअली पुट डॉलर्स ओवर हियर देयर इज नो शॉर्टकट देयर इज नो शॉर्टकट फॉर दिस यू विल हैव टू सी देयर आर अ फ्यू थिंग्स व्हिच यू कैन नॉट चेंज अगर आप एक ऑनलाइन एग्जाम दे रहे हो देयर आर अ फ्यू डिफिकल्टीज व्हिच यू माइट फेस अपने हर चीज का देयर इज अ यू नो एडवांटेज एंड अ डिसएडवांटेज and I don't think this will create a very big issue because you don't make many things absolute. And it, when you practice, you practice it accordingly. So when, for example, I'm selecting this cell, I can just quickly go and put in dollar signs, right? One second extra, it will take for sure. But then it's fine. You cannot make a big issue of that. All right. So money payment is done. We can now just calculate the PV. So when you calculate the PV, you need to consider uh, an, um, you know, a particular rate. So what I can do is I could have, you know, um, maybe created another cell over here. I have recorded one video for IEI students, what, what was the recent updates, wherein I discussed a few things. You all can go and check that uh, on Q forum. Alright, so now um, we can have this um, money yield, I can just write money yield over here. Let's take 5% for now, which we'll change using goal seek. So this into 1 plus, aap log kar rahe ho, to aap log make sure you use dollar signs and all that while making absolute. Hold to the power minus of the time. So just drag this now. Again, if you want, you can convert it 
in INR. Once you calculate the uh, PV, um, after this, what we'll have to do is just calculate the present value. This should add up to 1 million, that is uh, 10 million, that is what you have paid out, which we can do using goal seek. So, sum of this entire thing. So, this is the total PV. This needs to be 10 million. So, I'll just change. Oh, we did not take the redemption. That is why we are getting a very small number. So, over here for the 15, you can have one more cell or here only we can, you know, have this thing. This is the coupon payment. One plus the coupon payment. Okay. So, what I have done, 10 million, 1 plus the coupon payment and then multiply by, by the inflation. Okay, that is why I was getting a very small number. Now, it's fine. So, I will change this code. To, I have just taken the redemption into account, which I was not taking. Redemption is 100%. I have just taken redemption into account over here. Nothing else. Okay, that's it. And then, so this cell is different. So just go and highlight this cell that this contains another formula. You guys need to understand these basic things now. It's very high time. Your exam is just in next, I think, not even 20 days left. So this cell changed to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by changing MWR, uh, money yield. And yeah, see. You are getting 10 million and the money yield is 4.518. Yeah. Alright. Just check. Then we will calculate the real yield. For the real yield, we do not take the lag into consideration. Just see what I am doing. Then I will give you all time to complete. You will have to... Uh, you know, just see what I am doing and then you all can do this. Now, we will again take the index value. But over here, we will not consider any kind of lag. So, now the index value that I take, this is with lag. So, you all can write with lag. And the index value that we will uh, calculate will be without lag. So, just control C, control V. And this will be without lag. Alright. So, when you are taking without lag, meaning you will be taking for January 23 itself. So, now we will use the same V lookup. But here, I will be selecting the entire three columns. So, earlier I selected these two. And for January 23, so basically for January 23, I was getting a value for October 22. But now when I need to calculate without lag, I will select all these three. And for January 23, we will actually get the actual, we will get the actual value of July 23 index value, which is this, uh, Jan 23, which is 178. Okay. So this is what we will be doing. Um, obviously, first I need the month. Make all this as absolute third column and then make it false okay just drag this so you again have your <clears throat> index value now when you calculate the pv of real or do you want to first calculate the real money in terms of january 23 so, when you calculate um, this, it will be, not from here, this money payment which you got, this money payment which you got and you multiply this with what? Tell me, this thing making it absolute divided by this. So, what are we doing? Whatever money we received in July 23, that is the coupon payment. 
we are making we are we are taking that july 23 value to the value of january 23 now how do we do that any payment which you get in july 23 multiply that with index value of january 23 because you are taking that to january 23 divided by the value of that month wherein you are getting the value which is july 23 Okay, so any value which I get in July 23 will be uh, multiplied by January 23 because I'm taking the value there divided by July 23. That's how you do it and you just drag. So this is the real money. Although I received 76,000 but what is the real money in terms of by negating the inflation is 75. 76 is what I actually got but the value, the worth of it was 75,160. Nine. And then again, you need to just calculate of uh, PV and this PV will again, uh, we can take a real yield of let's say, suppose 4% and then again, similarly, this thing multiplied by 1 plus the real yield, make it absolute, hold to the power minus the month okay? and just drag, just drag, that's how you do this all right and then um, again take a i'll just copy paste this part pv and this pv should again be 10 you can see you're getting a very small number so obviously this will four percent should decrease if you decrease the uh, discounting uh, factor then uh, your discounting rate then your pv increases right so data what if goal seek Make this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by changing 4%. Okay. And yeah. So low. It's almost, I think, if I just increase the decimals, it's 1.249%. That's what you are getting. Quickly solve this. And check whether you're getting the answer. Just uh, has this instrument provided any inflation protection to the investor? Let's just discuss this and then you all can continue solving. If yes, assess the inflation protection that has been provided by the security. So have we got any kind of inflation protection over here? Tell me. And if yes, are we uh, like, and if it is, and if yes, assess the protection level that it is giving us. Can anyone answer the six marks question? So, your how do we you know answer these questions? Firstly, you need to consider that uh, we had a coupon payment of one point five percent. Okay, we are getting a coupon payment of one point five percent. Now, what actually is happening is that. We are, see, if I am buying a coupon, uh, if I am buying a bond and the bond is providing me 1.5% coupon, meaning I need to earn 1.5% per annum, I need to earn that 1.5%, but here, actually, we are earning 1.24%, which is less than one5 Ideally, I should earn 1.5 or more than that, but I'm earning less than if you're buying a bond and I'll tell you the coupon payment is 1.5%, then what do you think that, okay, my per annum rate of return that I'll be earning will be 1.5. But actually what is happening? Actually, you're earning just 1.25% or 25%, which is way lower. So it's not giving you the actual real yield is lower than 1.5%. It's not giving you any kind of inflation protection. And why is this happening? Because of the three months lag, which is very huge. And if you just go and if you check the index values, the index value is increasing sharply. So over here, money value that you are getting is 76,000. But actually the worth of it is going down to 75. It's like more than 1000 gap which you can see over here in each month since you know the lag is considered over here which is very huge um, and it's huge in the later years as well so that is why the impact of the lag three months lag is impacting us so much so that the real rate is actually very low 
right so so we can just say that the security is not providing any kind of inflation protection and this is specifically exaggerated when there is a redemption so acha i uh, did i take redemption ha so just see the value of the redemption because in the last when you just see the last inflation index in the last few months there is a huge change january 28 uh, 30, if you check the values of january 38 देखो जनवरी थर्टी जनवरी थर्टी एट सी द इन्फ्लेशन इज टू सेवेंटी फाइव दिस टू सेवेंटी फाइव इज ऑफ ऑक्टोबर थर्टी सेवन बट एक्चुअली द इन्फ्लेशन इज टू एटी फाइव एक्चुअली इज टू एटी फाइव but the money value that you are getting is for 275 huge difference in inflation happening in the later years and that is why in case of um your redemption actually you are receiving somewhere around 1.55 but the worth of it is only 0.96 which is very less comparatively and this is the huge difference you are getting between the money yield and the real yield and hence the product is not providing you any kind of inflation protection because it's not even matching the coupon rate that you should ideally be getting all right any doubt in this part quickly tell me any doubt in this part quickly solve this then we'll move to the next question <coughs> 